Alright, week four, uh, getting ready to get the week started here. Uh, it's uh, late on Tuesday night, it's a little later than I normally uh, film this. I got stuck watching uh, Django Unchained. Um, and, you know, just as a side note, uh, you know, listen, I'm a big Tarantino fan, but uh, by far uh, Django is the best uh, Tarantino movie. I know Pulp Fiction is the big one. Everyone's got a soft spot for Reservoir Dogs, but, uh, but there, there is not a wasted second uh, in Django Unchained. That, that's, a, that's a big piece of steak. Uh, from start to finish. So um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it, but most of y'all I'm sure have seen it. Uh, all right, week four kicks off uh, Minnesota at Los Angeles. Nice uh, Thursday matchup to start off. I don't know what the hell happened to the Vikings last week. Uh, the Bills uh, just went in there, embarrassed them, uh, blew up a ton of survivor pools for those people who still do those things. Uh, Rams, you know, again, just the, the train keeps moving. Uh, you know, Robert Woods, a big game. Uh, I just like the Rams here. Uh, they're just they're, they're going to be off to a great start, uh, you know, on their way uh, to the division championship and, uh, you know, probably a first round bye. So I'm going to take the Rams. Uh, Cincinnati is at Atlanta. We're moving to Sunday. Uh, the early games, uh, the Bengals are, uh, no, Bengals lost last week, but, um, you know, they, they've been playing well. Atlanta, you know, loses a tough overtime game. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I just I don't trust the Falcons uh, in this spot here. Uh, so I'm going to take Cincinnati uh, in that game. Uh, Tampa Bay at Chicago. Uh, you know, Fitzmagic kind of ran out on Monday night a little bit, uh, even though they rallied. Uh, Fitzpatrick the first guy to throw for 400 yards in three straight games, which, you know, obviously is impressive. But I feel like someone would have already done that already, but I guess not. Um, so, you know, good for him. Um, but then, of course, you know, now Jameis Winston is back, and, you know, who knows, and, uh, you know, they're, they're a little bit more in turmoil. Uh, I like, I like uh, Chicago, uh, you know, grinding out a tough win, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, they played the Cardinals, you might think they should, maybe should win the game easy, but, you know, they're a young team, you know, they're still trying to, uh, you know, figure out their way and learn how to win games, so I like that they were able to pull that one out. I'm going to take Chicago this week. Because uh, uh, I, I didn't like what I saw with, with the with Pittsburgh getting a Tampa all, all last week and then Chicago Chicago get to Fitzpatrick or Winston or uh, you know Steve DeBerg or whoever's back there. Um, all right, Detroit at Dallas. Dallas finally getting the, an early game. Uh, you, you know, I don't know what happened that game last week in Seattle. I, I, I just think that you know, right, yeah. I mean, receiving quarter, all right? There's not a big uh, you know deep threat guy on the team, but. You, you know, that, Dak's got to make some better throws. Uh, you know, uh, I know Seattle's a tough spot to play. You know, Seahawks, and, you know, not, not what they used to be. But, you know, Dak's got to make, uh, you know, he's got to make some better throws here. You know, he's got to, they, 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 they got, they got to keep the defense honest. Because, I mean, as great as Zeke is, you know, they're going to you know, they're gonna stack the box. I mean, you know, uh, given what, what they've got to receive. So, you know, Dak's really got to, got to step up to play there. Uh, but, of course, I'm going to pick the Cowboys anyway. Um, because the Lions are a mess. I mean, I, I don't. I, I know they they beat New England, but you know they were fired up because you know Patricia uh, going against Belichick and Legarrette Blount. You know, started off the game great. You know, so you know he was fired up to play. But um, it, I think Detroit's still a mess there. Uh, this would be a high scoring game. I think. Um, I don't know how I'm going to take the Cowboys. Uh, Buffalo at Green Bay. Uh, I didn't watch a lot of the Green Bay Washington game, so I don't know what happened. Uh, I mean, Green Bay just didn't play well, from what I understand. I know uh, they got, uh, Clay Matthews got called for another, it was, uh, you know, hey, I fell on the quarterback thing. and uh, They, they got to do something with that rule. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, every, every other play is, uh, you know, roughing the, the passer. I mean, it's not even, it's just, you know, I mean, you, you got to decide what you want to do here. I mean, you want to have a lead where nobody touches the guy uh, or, or are we going to have some kind of balance and, you know, obviously trying to maintain some sort of play of safety. But, I mean, it, it, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, after Monday night game, even Ben Roethlisberger is like, well, why, why are you making all these calls? So, like, when the quarterback is telling you that y'all are calling this too much, maybe you ought to get, like, uh, kind of, you know, I mean, just, just drive him into the ground thing. I mean, it's, you know, 
th- these are not plays from like the seventies when when dudes would like pick up guys and then slam them to the ground. Like that's not what's happening. Like they're, they're taking like a little instance where you know, it looks like the guy's kind of falling on him and and they're like, oh, he's driving him into the ground. I mean, it's just uh, the, the whole thing is stupid. It's just. Just, just fix it and go back to the way it was. You know, I, I, I'm fine with you know when if he gets hit on the head, you know that's an easy call to make. But um, I, I don't even know why, why am I going on about this. Uh, Green Bay is going to beat Buffalo. Um, Philadelphia, Tennessee. Um, you know the Eagles. Uh, you know I thought they would play better against the Colts. You know obviously they pulled out the win. Uh, Tennessee, you, you know grinding out one with um, you know Jackson the last week. Uh, you know real uh, low scoring game there. Um, you know, I'm going to take Tennessee here. Uh, I don't know why. I just Something's not right with Philly. Uh, you know, I mean, Wentz is back, but again, he's, he's rusty. You know, you kind of saw it last week. Um, you know, I, it might take him a couple weeks before they get back, you know, where they were, the point they were last year before Wentz got hurt. Uh, and Tennessee's got a good defense. Um, so I'm, I'm going to take Tennessee in an upset on that one. And of course, I want to see Philly lose, so, you know, I'm a little biased also. <laughs> Um, Houston and Indianapolis, uh, wow, the Texans are 0-3, that's a little surprising, uh, the Colts, you know, they, they play tough in Philly, uh, man, Houston really needs the game here, but, you know, outside of Deshaun Watson, you know, throwing bombs to Fuller and Hopkins, I mean, they don't, they don't, they don't have a lot going on, I mean, I mean, the Giants are a mess, and then the Giants kind of dominate that game. So I don't know what's going on with Houston, but as long as Deshaun Watson's putting up 30 points a game, I care less what they do. Um, I'll take the Colts here. I don't like what Houston's doing right now. Uh, Miami and New England. I mean, jeez, I mean, if Miami would somehow win this game, I mean, Miami would be 4-0. Uh, New England would be 1-3. Uh, and then Miami would already have a division win against New England. And, and, like, and even if that were to happen, you know somehow New England would come back uh, and still win the division somehow, you know, like it, it would, you, you know, somehow it would start to fall apart. Uh, but I don't think Miami's gonna win this game. I mean, New England, you, you, you know, it, everyone's gonna get a little too excited about maybe. And I know Miami gives Belichick and Brady problems, but the, the the one time where it could really damage New England, they won't come through. Uh, so I'm gonna take New England. Uh, Jets at Jacksonville, you know, Jets losing to Cleveland. Uh, last Thursday, Cleveland winning for the first time in uh, 150 years or whatever it was. Um, you know, and, and listen, you know, Baker Mayfield came in, played great, you know, and, so, and that was obviously a big storyline. But, but really, it, it, what, it, it, that was a typical Jets uh, game right there. It, just, it was just, t- of course the Jets were going to lose to the team that hadn't won a game in a year and a half. And you knew the Jets. Was some, even when they were 14, you're like, you know the Jets are somehow going to blow them. Uh, and now they're going to go into Jacksonville with a rookie quarterback. Um, it, it's just, I mean, Jacksonville's going to win the game. Unless they can, the Jets can somehow trade for Le'Veon Bell uh, before this, before Sunday. You know, then maybe. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, you know, if he goes to the Jets, great. Uh, just trade him somewhere so I can play him in my dynasty league because I'm getting tired of this shit. Uh, but Jacksonville's going to beat the, the Jets. Uh, Cleveland at Oakland. Um, Cleveland coming off a win. Haven't been able to say that in a while. Uh, Oakland uh, is 0-3. Uh, they're playing a little bit better on offense, but again, Mari Cooper disappeared again. Uh, maybe he reappears for this one. To be honest with you, I, who, I mean, they're going to Vegas. Who cares uh, what the Raiders do at this point? I mean, they brought Gruden back to get him to, to make the transition, uh, you know, because they're going to have to get people fired up uh, in Las Vegas when they move there, whatever that is. Um, but Cleveland's not going to win two in a row. That's ridiculous. So somehow Oakland will sneak through this one and, and get their first win. Uh, that's the first late uh, Sunday afternoon game. And then uh, you got Seattle at Arizona. Um, you know, you know Russell Wilson looked a little better. He played better than I thought he would against Cowboys defense. Um, you know, so that, you know, that, that's encouraging if you're a Seahawks fan. You know, Arizona's going to start trotting out um, their rookie quarterback, uh, there's a Josh Allen, whatever he is. There's a couple of Josh rookie Josh quarterbacks. I forgot which one that is, but um, it's not going to matter because you know Arizona just they, they can't move the ball. You know, and I know they got David Johnson, but you know Fitz is getting old and he, he's looking around going, what what, what what am I doing here? Like what, what's going on? Like it's time to retire. You know, you had a great career, You're the greatest Cardinal probably in history. 
you know, just just hang it up, dude. This, this, this team's going nowhere. Um, so I'm going to take Seattle. Uh, New Orleans at the Giants. Um, was it two years ago? I don't forget. Last time they played, when they played that game in New Orleans, it was a 52-49 or something ridiculous like that. Um, you know, you might get another one there. Um, you know, Giants offense looked better last week. Uh, you know, they seem to wake up a little bit. And, and, and listen, and New Orleans can score 40 points at any game they want. You know, I mean... Yeah, the, the New Orleans going to be in a shootout every other week. Um, maybe this one probably stays in the thirties. You know, you know, thirty-one twenty-seven. Somebody, um, but I'm going to take New Orleans to win this game because uh, I'm a big Alvin Kamara fan. Uh, and, you know, just uh, I only have him in one of my leagues this year, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to take New Orleans. Um, and then last uh, uh, late Sunday game, looking at San Francisco at the Chargers. Uh, pick up Chargers defense. Uh, obviously, if you, if you have a chance. Um, in fantasy, uh, 49ers, you know, this season's over. Just, I, I don't even know who's a backup quarterback at this point. I mean, they, they, could, uh, they, could, they could bring Kaepernick in at this point. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, the, this season is over. Um, you know, I mean, this season really not off, never got off the ground really to begin with. I mean, really one and two or whatever. Um, so, you know, they're headed for, a, you know, a top five pick now because I, I, I don't even know who the backup is. It doesn't matter. You know, they, they've got some marginal talent. You know that you know if Garoppolo was was playing well, you know you know he can you know elevate that. But you know with him out, you know I mean, you know what what must do with Marquise Goodwin? And I he's going to sit on my fantasy bench now. You know what what must do with that? So I'm obviously the Chargers are going to win this game. Sunday night, another classic Baltimore Pittsburgh. I think every game these two teams have ever played has been decided by a touchdown or less. I uh, don't have statistics on that, but I'm, I'm probably right. I just don't feel like we're going to get up. Um, you know, Baltimore bounced back uh, after a head-scratching loss a week before. Uh, Pittsburgh, you know, they finally get the win, but, you, you know, it, 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 it almost fell apart there late uh, on Monday night. And, and listen, the Le'Veon thing is still out there. Like, I mean, it's good that they got a win, but the... It's good to hear that the Steelers are thinking about it. Like, just trade the guy. Like, just... Just trade the guy. He doesn't want to play any team anymore. You don't want to pay him the money. Get rid of him. Get get a couple of draft picks. Get, I mean, I don't know why this is hard. And by the way, when I send you a trade proposal uh, in fantasy, just just tell me if you want to do it or not, or if you have any interest. Like, I hate when I send a trade proposal and it just sits there for like three days. Like, what are you thinking about? Like, don't act like you don't know the, the, whether or not you want to do a deal or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, like, you can tell me to go for myself. It's fine. I don't care. Like that, um, I'd rather you do that than like, oh, like, and then like, I gotta hit you up again, like, you know, like, do you want to like, come on, like, I send you a trade proposal, you know, you look at it for five minutes. It's, it's not rocket science. Just, just, just tell me if you want to do a deal or not, and then I can move on to something else, you know. But uh, and you, you, you people out there, you know who you are. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take Baltimore in this game because I still the Pittsburgh's still not right yet. Um, and then you get the uh, the Monday night game. Uh, Kansas City at Denver. Um, hopefully, Phil Lindsay doesn't. Uh, I don't think he's going to get suspended. I know he got thrown out of the game Sunday for throwing a punch in the bottom of a funnel pile, but uh, it doesn't sound like he's, he's, he's facing any type of suspension. Hopefully, not. I mean, most will probably be a game anyway, but I uh, hope he plays in this game. It's a really nice matchup. I want to play him in the flex in my New York City league this, this week. So, um, and, and I mean, listen, Pat Mahomes is ridiculous right now. Uh, you know, everyone, I think, I think the, he's up for a Hall of Fame election uh, uh, this week. Uh, so hopefully he'll probably be unanimous uh, Hall of Fame uh, selection of uh, Pat Mahomes. So, uh, yeah, well, this is a tough game. Though. I mean, I, mean, I want to take Denver here, but I mean, Chiefs offense is just too hot right now. Um, so I'm going I'm to hope, I'm going to say Chiefs, Chiefs win the game, you know, they, they get a big lead and then you know, Denver spends a good part of the second half, you know, throwing, um, you know, a dump offs to Philip Lindsay, and he can get like 150 yards. Like that would be perfect. But uh, I'm gonna take the Chiefs in this game, and then um, you know we'll talk to you all again on Sunday. Uh, Dallas then needs to get a win, uh, so uh, we'll uh, talk to you all then. All right, sweet.